Oh, there you go. Hey everyone, how are you doing? So today I feel like nachos. We kind of feel like nachos. So we're gonna make nachos. And you know what's really great for making nachos? The Rock Crock Pizza Stone. I think it's, I don't know if it's called a pizza stone actually, but anyways, the round stone. And did you know that that stone is really great? Barbecue? Campfire. Campfire. Campfire nachos. We've done that too. We've camping. Done that. We've done that <laughs> on your camp stove. Yeah. And then um, oven. Oven is also good. And it's almost barbecue time. It's sunny today. So earlier today, we made some uh, pineapple wedges with the pineapple wedger. So it's kind of drowning in my drink here, but it's in there. Can you see it? Probably not, maybe. Anyways, so let's get on with the nachos here. Um, so on our nachos, we're gonna have cheese and we thought we'd make some peppers just to make it look pretty. And um, so we're gonna cut up this pepper here. So red pepper, uh, Santoco knife. I use this knife for everything. I cut everything with this knife. I don't know about you, but I use this knife. Like, I have two of them now, because I use them so often. I need to always have one that's available. So um, this is always a pain to get out, right? So we have this thing called a scoop loop, and so you can just scoop it all out. So you just cut it in, pull it out, oops, put some <laughs> seeds in. <laughs> there we go. Cut in half. All that seeds is out. Some of it's on my cutting board here. But now I need to chop these peppers into slices. And so we also have this thing called a quick slice. So this is really handy to quickly cut peppers versus having to do them all by hand with a knife, which is, you know, you can do that too if you want, that's fine. Um, generally, I try to make the grooves fit, so it kind of like, I don't know if you can see, but it kind of goes like a V, and so I kind of fit it into the V of the pepper, and then I just push it down, making sure my um, lines line up, and then look at that, sliced pepper, it's also great for stir fries. And then, you know what's really cool you can do? You can put them the other way and chop them up into cubes. I think one just escaped, but anyways, there we go. Diced pepper. Look at that. So that's pretty awesome. Okay, so I got to do the other side of the pepper now. Kind of got some caught in there. I'll just make them move. Okay, so then we're going to do the other side because we got to cut the whole pepper to put on our nachos. So we'll put the things Flip it over. I think I lost one on the side again. Really should catch them, but I didn't. Okay. Diced peppers. Perfect. Diced peppers. How about that? Can you see that? Diced peppers. What do you think? Good? Very good. All right. So I've got some that are still stuck in here. That's okay. They're still cut, but they're stuck because I guess they really like the quick slice. <laughs> I guess. I don't know. No, that's not a problem. Another use for your knife. Just push them out. They're all still diced. But, okay, enough of that. Okay, so we're now going to make some nachos. So I'm going to pour some out. We have a couple different kinds here. We make our local Safeway. I'm not trying to. I'm not getting squeezed in Safeway. I'm really not talking about Safeway. Okay. Okay. And then put some of these lime right in here. on our nachos here and the trick to really good nachos is to make sure that it's flat and wide so yeah. the cheese to nacho ratio cheese to nacho ratio yes i like to layer nachos too yeah i didn't do a very good job layering it oh it's fantastic it's fantastic you can always put more on too mm -hmm. okay so then we're going to layer some of these dice mm -hmm. did you know that you can put the rock rock in the microwave too oh yeah you're right so if you want to microwave not well, you might have to use the small grill stone. Yep. Because this one's probably too big for the microwave. But like the, the Dutch oven, I've made cakes, microwave cakes. Really? In the Dutch oven <gasps> in the microwave. Oh, you know what? I've made that chocolate peanut butter lava cake in the microwave with the Dutch oven. Yep. And then everyday pan. Don't you tell me it like lives on your stove? On my stove. On your stove. Okay, I think we need more cheese. What do you think? Yep. Okay. Oops. 
That's what being Canadian is all about. <laughs> We, not only do we put cheese on everything, we put extra cheese on everything. We're so cheesy. Okay, I'm now being really corny. Okay, what do you think? More peppers? Use them up. Okay, I'll put all the peppers on. I think we need more cheese. Just say the word. Because, I mean, is there, a pro is there ever too much cheese? There is not. There's never too much cheese. The really great thing about doing your nachos in the oven versus the microwave is that your chips don't get spongy. Pro tip, don't use Doritos because the cheese on the Doritos will burn. Okay, well I have another tip about nachos. Mm. So if you are using a gas oven, don't use broil, your chips will catch on fire. Ask me how I know <laughs> and why I have a family joke of, Sally, why do you make nachos? <laughs> because I, uh, once during a Christmas vacation at my parents' place in California, they have a, a, a gas oven there. Well, thought it would be a great movie snack to have nachos and cheese until they caught on fire. So we had flaming nachos, but not the good kind. Anyways, we're gonna now put this in the oven. So I don't, I don't know if you wanna watch me do that. I would normally put them on the barbecue, but uh, it's kind of dark out now. So if we're just gonna do the oven. We were too busy having blue Hawaiian drinks, I guess. Okay. There we go. So we'll come back in a few minutes until the cheese melts. All right. Okay, so our nachos are out of the oven. You can kind of see them over my shoulder here. Fantastic. Now we're going to make some guacamole because guacamole is like my favorite thing to eat chips on. So um, this is our avocado tool right? Brand new spring product. So very simple. You've got a cutting side, you got a pitter. So all you do is you just use this, the cutting side, cut all the way through, all the way through, all right? Give it a twist. Okay. Take this end, give that a twist and out comes your pit, right? That so you, is, that. you know what? That's like, I hate normally taking the pits out. It's like the biggest struggle. And I just am amazed how easy that was. Right. So then you can also take and you can cut slices, right? So you can use this end here, some cool little slices. So um, some of you might know, might remember that I lived in Australia for a while. So they don't use mayo there. Instead of using mayo on things, they actually take the avocado and just smear it on the bread, which is quite delicious and very healthy. Okay. And then you can use the flat side of this to just scoop all your avocado into the bowl. Pretty simple, hey? So, you know, lots of good recipes. I have a fantastic story to tell you about the best guacamole I have ever eaten in my life, but I'll save that for another day. So, um, I'll cut the other side too and put it in. So again, I'm just gonna do slices, all right? It doesn't really matter because I'm gonna mash it. Take the flat side of the cut cutting part and just scrape it out, okay? So. It also works, like I said, right? You just take this, smear it on your bread, just like... Uh, avocado toast. Yeah, just like avocado toast, exactly. Okay. Um, now, this is our new spice mix. Sorry, I got some avocado on it. Uh, it's the guacamole mix, seasoning mix. So, for every avocado, you're just going to add one teaspoon. So, if you haven't seen these, these are our adjustable measuring spoons, right? So, you can measure all the way from one teaspoon up to one tablespoon. You just adjust this piece. And wherever you stop, that's how much it is, right? So we're just going to add one tablespoon. I'm going to have to take the lid off. Okay, so per avocado. I am going to cut up another avocado after this, so I'm just going to put a second scoop in for now, right? Easy peasy. And what, what are you putting the avocado in? Is that the two cup prep Oh, bowl? yes. <laughs> this is the two cup prep bowl which is perfect for salsa and avocado, your guacamole, and your sour cream. Um, it comes in different sizes too, so you can actually get a one cup, which is really handy, but not if you like a lot of guacamole. Then you might need the three cup. Then you might need the three cup. And they come with lids. Yeah, That's they come I with like lids. The lids. So just like so. So I am gonna cut up the other one, but you've already seen how easy it is, so you know how it works. So. That's our guacamole. Here you go. 
Olay. <laughs>